Hi, Alan Sokal, and I'm reviewing the small rig tripod ball head. I believe it's their model 3034. A uh, small rig on their vendor page put 3034 at the end of the uh, leading title. So I'm going to presume for the moment that that's the model number. Here's my take. I have a number of ball mounts. Uh, in the beginning, when I started doing reviews, the ball mounts that I had were the very inexpensive ball mounts that are sold four at a time. Well, when you take a look at the entire market out there and you see what's available, and then you see a small rig product right here, <clears throat> and this is the one I'm reviewing, and then for a comparison, because I want you to understand what has swayed me when it comes to ball mounts, um, I'm showing you an item I reviewed, I think it was about a week ago, two weeks ago. It's not the ball mount, it's the entire tripod, the mini tripod. It actually came with a ball mount that I was extremely impressed with. Heavy, large, large knobs, etc. But I don't want to go too far with this one. Let's take a look at the small rig. Okay, the small rig ball mount and uh, price point, and this is important, the price point is $33. What exactly are you getting? You're getting a very nice machined ball mount. Uh, these three red items here, plus the ball that's red, that's red anodizing on aluminum. Aluminum is a light metal. So when I saw this, I thought, okay, it's another well-built uh, small rig product, uh, but it's incorporating aluminum. So it's not going to be as heavy as some recent ball mounts that I've had. Important thing, Arca Swiss compatible. You can sort of know it's Arca Swiss when I push the uh, quick release plate back and forth. And you know it's being held in place by those engineered little uh, machine screw heads that uh, keep this from uh, traveling right off the rails. So this is Arca Swiss compatible. Of course, your knurled knob here for tightening the plate, now it's tight. This knob for loosening and allowing you to adjust the ball mount. And then rotating this entire ball mount, courtesy of this knurled knob right here, which is in the loose position now. I can move it when I get to my desired position. I just turn it, tighten it, lock it down. Typical ball mount like this. Um, I like the ball mount, don't get me wrong, and I definitely like small rig. It's, it's a good vendor and I have some of their other products. But as I said a short while ago when I was reviewing mini tripods, this one came in. And here's the interesting thing. This entire tripod, including this very heavy ball mount, $50. And it was $50 branded under a name I wasn't familiar with, but I sure liked the product. And the further I looked, I found a brand name that was offering the same item, basically the same item, at the same price. A lot of confidence in this mini tripod, but we're focusing on ball mounts. And if you are, know that this ball mount is a bit different. It's heftier. And this particular ball mount has a 3 8 mounting threaded uh, machine screw mount, 3 8 This one is heavy duty and uh, I really like it. I'm only sharing this with you because I thought about it and I was thinking, you know, this is interesting. I like small rig product. This is a nice light ball mount. And it's, uh, as I said, 33 bucks. Well, then I thought for $17 more, if I needed a ball mount, would I get this small rig or would I move over to this tripod? And I'd end up getting a really nifty tripod with this heavy, heavy ball mount with nice large knobs for adjustments. And it's also Arca Swiss compatible. 
Uh, this thing just has a great feel to it. So it helps me to better appreciate this small rig ball mount. What it's telling me, and this is based on my needs, because I don't use ball mounts uh, as much right now. I probably will start using them soon. Um, but this is a light, well-made ball mount. I guess well-made is important because for me, quality is everything. And with uh, accessory items like this, a difference of five or ten bucks, quite honestly, it, it, it's not much. You know, if I'm going to spend thirty, I will spend fifty if I can get something uh, that's even way better or substantially better that would serve my needs. But this is a rather hefty ball mount. It doesn't have the same feel as this one, but I know that this is going to comfortably handle my A6400, which I'm using now, and it might handle some of my other DSLRs. I think this will take up to, what was it, five kilograms of load. That's quite a bit. So uh, even with uh, my current lens, which is a zoom lens, not a prime lens, um, this will easily handle it. And for $33, I trust the name and I like this product. It is a good product. In summary, I've just got to say the small rig ball mount is a five star item. No question. And I should add, by the way, that this small rig ball mount does have, at this moment, a 3 8 adapter bringing it to a quarter 20. Uh, drill and tap on the underside. There is an adapter in there now. So this is also a 3 8 amount if you do have a 3 8 um, uh, stud, uh, mounting stud. Uh, this will uh, go down and uh, tighten up on that just fine. Again, uh, the name is good. The vendoring I trust and uh, this is a quality product and at $33 I did look I couldn't find anything else exactly like this that was much less a couple were a bit more and you know a difference of even a buck or two doesn't move me when it's a name brand I trust really important so that's it five stars and uh, just wanted to make sure you knew that there are some other ball mounts out there that are a bit interesting and uh, like I say, this one came with a mini tripod. Who would have known? So it just opened my eyes to uh, some other options.